Hello everyone and welcome to this lab session. In this session you will learn how you can interact with your S3 buckets in your AWS account with the help of the CLI tool. So over here you can see that we have two buckets as of now. I will go back to the CLI tool. Before you start with the CLI tool, just ensure that you have already configured your CLI with your AWS credentials. So you do that with AWS configure. I have already done that. So I will directly start from accessing the services in AWS. So whenever you start using the services within your AWS account, so you first need to write down AWS. So AWS basically means that the CLI will come to know that you are trying to access some AWS service. Now the AWS service that we are going to access is S3. So I have typed down S3. And then the first command that we will be using is LS. So LS basically means that it will list down all the buckets that you have in your AWS account. Hit enter. And here you can see that these are the two same buckets that we have inside our AWS account. Now if you are interested in looking at what are the contents inside one of the buckets. So for that you type down AWS. So as we are using the AWS service, then S3, then the same LS command. And then after that you write down the bucket name with S3 colon and two backslashes then the bucket name I want to see my contents for is bucket dash scale curve hit enter so here you can see that as of now we have aws onejpg file in this bucket if you also look for the other one so you do not get anything which means that this bucket is empty as of now all right so this is one of the folders created with the name AWS-S3. Inside this folder, you can see that we have these PDF files. In JPEG folder, we have these two images. Then we have a single image in this folder and another single image in this folder. So I will copy this location. What I will do is I will copy all of these files in my S3 bucket with the help of the CLI tool. So let's see how you can do that. So I will just clean it out quickly in order to sync it so i have already copied the location for that we use the command aws so we are going to use aws and the service is s3 and then we use the sync command whenever you want to upload a complete folder so as you know that we are going to upload this aws s3 complete folder to our to one of our buckets so for that you always use the sync command and then after that we give down we write down the location so this is our location from where we want to copy and then we give the location for the S3 bucket. So the S3 bucket will be. So this is the S3 bucket that we will be using to upload our content. So that is bucket dash skill curve. Hit enter. And now here you can see that all the files are now uploaded. So now let us just look at the files that we have inside our bucket as of now. So for that we will write. AWS S3 LS and then the name of the bucket. So here you can see that these are the folders that we have inside our bucket. And then if you want to see the contents inside that particular folder, you can just write down the complete bucket name followed by a slash and then that particular folder name that you want to see. So this is how you upload or sync the files. Now, even if I again try to run this same command. So as you know that nothing has changed in our folder, so it will not run. So you can see it do not give any output. This is because there is nothing changed in our folder. Now, if for any reason I just make a change in this. So let me just add a text file over here. So I have now added a aws.txt file. So now if I again go ahead and run this command, so it will now only make the change to this one so you can see that it automatically syncs and then it only uploads the .txt file that is that has been changed now if you go back to this so now you can see that we have all the contents inside this let us just refresh this page so these are all the contents that we have in here and if you go back to the bucket so aws bucket dash skill curve one is empty as of now so what we will do is we will go to the CLI. Now from the CLI, we will go and copy the contents inside this bucket dash skill curve to this bucket in AWS bucket dash skill curve one. So for that, 
let's do this the good thing is first of all let's down all the buckets so these are the two buckets that we have so for that we will use the sync command between the two buckets so for that write down aws s3 and now we will sync the two buckets so the first bucket where our content is has the name bucket dash skill curve and the second bucket where we want to sync all of the contents is aws bucket dash skill curve one hit enter okay just a typo over here so i will just go and change this name. so now you can see that all of the contents has been now copied so we will go back and just have a look at it so first refresh this page and now you can see that all of the contents are available over here as well so this is how you use the cli tool to perform operations on your s3 buckets in the same way you can also perform other operations as well with this i hope you have got an understanding of how you can use the cli tool to interact with your s3 buckets in your aws account